The Vivot Police Station have been out of, well, of course, our officers have been out of this station for more than four years. First of all, I, again, I want to apologize to the police for having to take so long to do that. But you're not the but one responsible for that no, malaise. I'm not, but the thing is that the buck stops. You know where the buck falls and it stops. You saw the work, extensive work. The roof is changed. There are certain features in the roof which are dead, methods to mitigate against climate change. I think it's strong enough to withstand, to withstand a, a category uh, right, five. Right, that is mitigation. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. And a mitigation to adapt. So we need to have all it takes to enable us to fight crime in this country and to make St. Lucia a better and safer place for our citizens and visitors. How do you um, anticipate it assisting or strengthening, supporting security in yes, that area? it improves the morale of the police. Mm -hmm. They'll have a place to work, a good environment to work. They, you know, they'll have, they'll, there'll be a place to hold prisoners. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we know that's been a problem. That's a big problem. Mm -hmm. They have a, a witness room, a room where, where, where you can ID witnesses. And you saw the barracks mm -hmm. being um, renovated. So I think I'm very pleased with what's happening there. I would like to have to, to f the, that the people get back to the station, the policemen go to the station, before the end of the year. That's my dream. Mm -hmm.